What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Take Two acknowledging that the Red Dead Online community is really frustrated because of the lack of content. This is a very short article. I will link it down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. But the CEO of Take Two says he understands that Red Dead Online's community is really frustrated with the lack of content. He didn't really talk about you know any other parts of the community, like the you know players that play just story content. But I think just kind of as a whole the entire community is upset whether you play online or if you're just a fan of the story mode i think we all kind of would have assumed by now we would have some type of dlc probably for the story mode and also a lot more content than we've had for the online mode the ceo went on to say of take two he kind of went on to say uh, that they're planning on supporting red dead online long term but however it would be rockstar that ultimately needs to add more content to red dead online so even though he's saying take two is kind of understands that players are frustrated with it, they're still kind of putting it off on um, Rockstar to, you know, get all that content out. And we kind of know how that's gone, uh, you know, for the last, well, really since the game has been out, we really have not seen a ton of content yearly from Rockstar. It was a little bit of content to begin with, and now it's kind of gotten less and less over the years. And considering we know, once again, that there's a new GTA game being made, we have seen that, you know, GTA 5 has been, you know, redone and kind of remastered for new gen consoles. I'm still kind of concerned that Rockstar's not really worried too much about Red Dead or, you know, Red Dead Online or really Red Dead 2 story content, considering they're making, as we all know, so much money off GTA. He says Rockstar talks about the updates that are coming uh, he said with them and they're working on an awful lot of stuff in general he said we've heard the frustrations and it's flattering that they want more content and more will be said by rockstar in due time no content has been promised of course by anyone rockstar has not come out and said we're going to give out content so you know the person that's writing the article kind of says we'll have to wait and see about what planned content they have for red dead online and like i said it's kind of interesting to me that the Take Two CEO is coming out and saying all this stuff when Rockstar has really not said anything whatsoever. Hopefully, this could be something good for the future, but we all have been disappointed so much in the past that I'm really not putting too much faith into this. I'm going to kind of take it with a grain of salt, even though it came from the Take Two CEO. I'm still not sure that Rockstar really is concerned too much with content for Red Dead Online or for the Red Dead Story Mode. Um, like I said, I, I think we all would probably agree that we thought we would have some type of you know story DLC or two by now, you know one or two things, kind of for the story by now, and probably a lot more stuff for the online mode. And we really haven't had any significant updates that have added anything to the game. They really have been substantial for a while now. I mean, the last few updates that we had that were, you know, kind of adding content, you know, and that's been a good while back, were not really that big of updates. I, I think people wanted to see, you know, at least two to three things added into the game, you know, that was kind of, you know, substantial content yearly. And that's just not really been the case with Red Dead Online. And when it comes to the story mode for Red Dead 2, we really have not seen anything added to there either. So when it comes down to what we will see in the end, I'm not sure. If, if this is left up to Rockstar, I'm kind of worried that it's going to be more of the same. I mean, maybe with take Two CEO kind of voicing his opinion, voicing that he understands that the community is frustrated. Maybe that will change some things. I highly doubt it, but I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.